Hello, lovely Dr. Mary is here. Today, we're revising chapter 8 about human population. Okay, let's get started. Human population distribution and density. You have to know the human population density and the distribution. So the density is the population per area, and the distribution is how they are spread through in an area, okay? Populations in... Changes in population size. Population... All organisms of one species that live in the same area at the same time. We took that before in chapter 9. Lag, log, stationary, and the carrying capacity. Let's start by the carrying capacity. The carrying capacity is the maximum size of population that an environment can support in terms of food, water, shelter. Okay? Lag starts first before log. Remember it, the A. A comes first in the alphabetical order. Okay? So lag then log a first okay what's lag log and stationary lag is the period of time in population growth when an organism is adapting to the new environment and has slow growth log or exponential phase it's when the growth rate of population increases over time because it has all their needs and requirements okay Stationary phase is when the growth rate of population has slowed down to a zero as the carrying capacity has been reached. You can read this, but this is not really important. Let's jump on to what's more important. Birth rates, death rates, and the increase and decrease. Birth rate is the number of live births per thousand of population per year. Death rate is the number of deaths. Okay. Natural increase, it's the difference between birth rate and death rate. So you subtract death. So you subtract death minus birth. <laughs> My pen just died. I'm so sorry. Let's do it. Okay. Factors affecting birth rate. In countries with high death rate, a very young or high infant mortality, like the babies or die, Birth rates are also high. In farming, economy, econ in farming economies like LEDC, more people are needed for manual labor. Families tend to be larger. In MEDCs, it is expensive to have children and pensions are provided by the state. Like the state provide the education and health services they need, okay? As pensions are provided, they do not need children to take care of at old ages. And the um, government provide everything they need by their healthcare services. And when they're older, they get someone to care for them. So they don't need really children, unlike LEDCs. In past times, LEDCs people used to have many children because of poor healthcare services, spread of diseases and ignorance. They all had a factor in having more children okay migration it's the movement of people into or out to in is starts with i okay so into an immigration that's coming into a country out it's immigration you can remember that by exit okay they exit ee -E. learn whichever you want immigration is easier to remember for me okay most common worldwide movement is rural, from rural to urban. And of course, you know this because of better water, better, better sanitation, education, healthcare services, and infrastructure and everything. Population growth, you need to know this, it's easy. Birth rate and immigration, okay? Minus death rate and emigration. So like it's in minus out. What are the push and pull factors? Push factors are the factors that encourage people to move to that country. Pull factors are the factors that force people to leave that country. Okay? What push factors can we say? We can say poverty, drought, poor services like education and healthcare, desertification, rise in sea level, anything. Pull factors that those are the positive points that attract people. Like what? Like good supply of food job opportunities, better infrastructure, better facilities for like services, and more of that. Population structure. 
population age population or age pyramid it's a diagram that shows the proportions of population between male and females at different age groups as you can see here that's an expanding young population and that has to do with the ledc okay they are typical pyramids for ledcs with high proportion high young as you can see the base is very wide compared to that at the top okay you got the stationary population like the usa the population is mostly stationary like they got high till here and just low population of old people and here you got this the contracting old population japan and this stands more for the medcs okay you got lower birth rates and more middle-aged people and less and less old people okay let's see what's next dependent dependent those are the people in population who are not economically active they do not work such as people younger than 16 and people older than 65 they rely on others for their needs independent are people that can provide for themselves and they are the working people people aged between 18 to 65 or 16 to 55 to 65 sorry Taxes from the independent populations. The taxes are used for education of the youngsters, provision of school, places, better infrastructures, better hospitals, better services, better education, better everything. Okay. Managing human population size. Family planning. Family planning and contraception both fall under the category of education. Education is very important. Okay. So family planning is an education. It's the method where the couples sit and decide the number of children they have and how many they can provide for, and which is mostly encouraged by government. Contraception, it's the usage or the methods to prevent, to prevent pregnancy. Improved health and education. Make people more aware of the methods of contraception and family planning. Educate women so they can choose career over having children. Okay, educate them so they can lead to a tendency for later marriages, like late marriages, so they can have children later during their times. Like as the woman, or as people, men or women, as they grow in age, they get less fertile. Okay, so their chance of having children decreases. And this is something the government wants. Okay, they need less children. So this is a good advantage for them. High infant, infant mortality causes couples to have more children, and I just said this about back in the days they used to have it because they didn't have good health care. When it's reduced by health care sanitation, it's, it tends to be reserved. National population policies, these are laws set by government. We got two laws, we got the pronatalist and the antenatalist. Pronatalist is pro, we encourage, we encourage couples to have children. You can do this by parents are being paid, okay? They get paternal and maternal holidays. Uh, their taxes are paid. The children can have free education. Anything that will pull them into having children. Antenatalist, it's the opposite. It's the family or the government discouraging the family to have less children, okay? And they do this like the very famous one. It's the one child policy. That's an antenatalist policy. In LADC, population increases too fast. These policies can form in weak measures, such as provision for the family planning, contraceptive, education, and more. Some countries have no population policies at all, and they have the highest birth rates, like in um, LADC countries. That was it for chapter 8. I hope it was helpful. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you for watching.